Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here. Time for a little something different. Um, nothing new to show today. I just, you know, I put out an album today that I hadn't heard in a while, and it hit me. This is a fantastic album that really gets overlooked in the overall catalog by this particular artist. The artist at question here is Quiet Riot. Now, everyone knows 1983's Metal Health. You know, people are going to say, yeah, that's the first Quiet Riot album. And, you know, it's the first U.S. Quiet Riot. Let's, let's just pick up from here. We'll ignore the end, the Randy Rhodes years, the first two. Um, this is the premier album that most everybody who learned of Quiet Riot learned from. And we know, if you know the history, this album went on to be number one on the charts. One of the first metal albums ever to take it to number one. It also went to the band's head, especially Kevin Dubrow's. From start to finish, it is a solid, you know, uh, just a, a, a classic album from the uh, 80s. I mean, this is, from start to finish, an amazing album. Now, of course, all you hear on the radio is going to be Metal Health, Bang Your Head, or Come On, Feel The Noise. That's, that is, that's Quiet Riot. That's all you're going to hear. And sadly, their second album, and I'm calling it second again because it's the second U.S. type release, Condition Critical. This is the album I pulled out today and put on, and it's been a while since I revisited this, but it really struck me on just how great this album is. I'm almost at the view, at the point of wanting to say, better. But see, I think the thing that's better than the first, not, it's tough though. Here's the thing. When I go side by side and look at the different songs on these two albums, it's, there's a lot of similarities it's almost you know that's back the way it was in those days almost cookie cutter slow songs everything you know you've got a, a certain mix but and maybe it's because the first album in the day was so overplayed and today it's still so overplayed there were a couple hits on here you know um that you don't hear much on the radio anymore i don't know why mama we're all crazy now i mean these guys took the slade to the next level I'm pretty sure that because of the popularity of them doing the Slade covers is why Slade came back with a new album in the 80s also. This album has, it's a little better production as far, you know, it just, it, it feels solid. The first album, start to finish amazing, and this album I think is on par with it, but often overlooked. And so I just, you know, it was just great. Uh, Sign of the Times, Mama We're All Crazy Now, Party All Night, Stomp Your Hands, Clap Your Feet. Then you got, you know, the winners take all, the ballad there that ends the first side. Condition critical, just a slow, plotting, amazing song. Scream and shout. Red alert. Bad boy. And we were born to rock. Now, sure, you know, it screams metal anthems. It screams 80s cheese as far as some of the lyrics. because, But that's the way it was. The thing is, when you talk about Quiet Riot, you often think of metal health. You rarely think of condition critical. And that's really sad. After listening to this album today, I just thought, you know, I, in some ways, think I might like this album better. I think overall, it's a step up. The energy, the production, the sound, the guys come out full throttle, full of energy, and it sadly gets overlooked. Now, of course, by this time, of course, the band was even, you know, having other issues with Kevin and mouths and things he's saying and all that. But put all of that aside and just judge for the music. Sure, the third album after this... I love that third album, but it's not even, it's not on par with these first two. Definitely, you know, a little more on the commercial feel. These two albums, though, like I say, almost hand in hand. They, they, they are very similar, um, but I still think that this one, in some ways, may edge it out. I mean, obviously, it's popular because of the first album. It's got all the popular songs, Slick Black Cadillac, and even the songs that were not, you know, not the big hits are amazing on the first album and they often get overlooked because people think of Quiet Right, you're gonna get the best of album, you're gonna get the two or three songs from the first album, one or two or three songs from here. Sadly, those are not always the best songs by these bands. And so, I don't know, when I pulled this out today and listened to it, it just struck me that this album deserves a lot more attention than I or the public seems to give it. I don't know, what's your thoughts? What do you think about this? I, you know, I'm not going to go any further in their collection, but you know, this was kind of. I think I might uh, give this some more thoughts. Some other artists of overlooked albums, um, because 
I know I like a lot of deep cuts by a lot of bands. I don't just necessarily like the hits. There are some bands that I could probably do fine just to buy a best of album, uh, you know, the greatest hits. But there are other bands that I'm big into, and, you know, back in the day, Quiet Riot was it, and they just bust the door down for a lot of the other metal bands that we enjoyed throughout the rest of the 80s. But this second album, at least to this day, you just don't hear much about it, and I think that's a real shame. I think it's a great album. I think it's probably on par with the first one. Love to hear your thoughts and uh, any comparisons you might have. And maybe you got a band that you think the same thing of. There's a band that maybe one of their albums you think is better than the most popular album. Love to see your comments. Love to hear what you've got to say in your stories. And I will see you later. Thanks a lot. Rock on and rock hard.